Hello guys, so you might have seen in many different movies that suddenly a person collapses and our hero comes into rescue where he uh, slits the person's throat and inserts something in that opening. So what do you think that object can be? Yes? Yeah, you're right. It's not a straw or a pen, but it's our endotracheal tube. Hi, I'm Nipali. Today I'm going to discuss about endotracheal tube and everything you need to know about endotracheal tube. Let's first discuss about different parts of the tube and its function. So if you can see the tube, it has got patient's end and this is the ventilator end or it can be connected to ammo bag or a vein circuit. So this part is called the bevel and this bevel is facing towards the left side. Why is it so? When you are intubating a patient, you take the laryngoscope in your hand and start intubating from the right side. And this bevel is towards the left side such a way that when you look at the vocal cord, you will be able to visualize it properly. And next part is Murphy side. This is the most important part in this tube. Why? Just imagine, there is some block or some secretion which is blocking this opening of the tube. So our Murphy side will come into rescue. After the cuff, we have different markings on the tube and a curvature. This curvature is around 140 plus or minus 2 millimeter. Then we have a pilot balloon and a connector. Now uh, let's discuss about the cuff. Cuff can be of two types. It can be high volume, low pressure and low volume, high pressure. If suppose the cuff is of first type, which is high volume, low pressure, the most common complaint which patient may tell you after extubation is sore throat. And the second type of cuff is high pressure, low volume cuff. Because it's of low volume, during intubation, you may not, may not face much difficulty, but since it's of high pressure, you may encounter tracheal mucosa ischemia. Uh, usually, we use up to 7 to 8 ml of air, but the ideal method is to use a cuff pressure manometer. And the ideal range of pressure for this cuff is 18 to 25 millimeters of mercury. So, an uncuffed tube based on the age. If the patient is less than 6 years of age, the formula which we can use is age by 3 plus 3.5 ml. And if the patient is above 6 years of age, the formula is age by 4 plus 4.5 ml. Now talking about the cuff tube, the formula which we can use is age by 3 plus 4. This formula is also called as Kynes formula. In adult female, the most commonly used size of 82 bar 7, 7.5 and in adult male, it's 8, 8.5. So now we need to know the depth of insertion of endotracheal tube. So if you're doing a orotracheal intubation and the patient is above one years of age, the formula is age by three plus 12 centimeter. And if you're doing a nasotracheal intubation, the formula would be the size of the tube used into three multiplied by three plus two centimeters. And in case of orotracheal intubation, what if the uh, patient which you are intubating is very small, maybe 1 kg, 2 kg, 3 pa or 3 kg patients. The uh, rule which we follow is 7, 8 and 9. So we need to fix the tube at 7 cm, 8 cm and 9 cm for the patient weighing 1 kg, 2 kg and 3 kg respectively. There is a transverse line in the endotracheal tube and as soon as you are able to see that transverse line passing, just passing through the vocal cord, through the level of vocal cord you know that you are at the proper level and ideally after intubation you need to confirm the location by auscultating which is also called as 5 point auscultation and chest x-ray after intubation because endotracheal tube has a radiopic lines the ideal position should be about 2 to 5 cm above the carina there are mainly two materials which are in use but most commonly we use pvc which is polyvinyl chloride the other material which is available is red rubber and now to summarize endotracheal tube used for intubation, it has got a ventilator end and a patient end. And the patient end, we have a bevel, Murphy's eye and a marking which is used as guide to know the depth of insertion. It has got different markings, areas of curvature and last, it's made of a transparent material which helps us to know if there is any secretion in the lumen. So having said this, all the best for your intubation.